Hey guys, it is Tom from You Know It, TMS Plus here, and uh, today we will be spending our last day, well our last morning actually, here in the um, Best Western Plus Stavala's Inn here at Anaheim in LA guys, uh, this will actually technically be our last day in LA guys, here at Disneyland, and um, the reason for that is because we will be continuing our trip to Las Vegas, guys. So we will be heading over to Las Vegas today. So I'm very excited for that, guys. And our rental car should be getting here any moment now. Let me just go out here. So our rental car should be out here any minute now, guys. So we are currently just waiting for that. And um, yeah, I'm excited guys because our rental car is going to be a bit different but I'll leave it up to you guys to find out why. I'm going to make it a surprise guys because this is going to be a different type of rental car guys. It's not going to be some random car, it's going to be a bit special guys because after all it is like a 5 hour drive from LA to, um, to Las Vegas guys so we want to make it special. So you'll find out why later on. But um, yeah, so we're just enjoying our last morning here at the uh, hotel here in Anaheim, right next to Disneyland. So yeah, like, uh, like you found out last vlog, there'll be no more Disneyland. We've been here for about a week, so it's time to move on uh, to our next phase of the trip. But I guess without further ado, I will see you shortly once the rental car has arrived. Alright guys, our rental car is here, so as you can see, yes we did go with the Mustang guys, yep this is literally a Mustang that will be driving all the way to Las Vegas and it is a convertible and this is looking pretty cool in there guys, look at this and there's Bo Pete over there, this is looking pretty awesome guys. That is a real Mustang, guys. Let's look at the front over here. This is going to be pretty cool to drive. Yep, there we are. Look at that front, guys. This is pretty crazy. This is going to be really cool to drive. So we just got to do some packing and pack up the car. And yeah, I guess I'll get back to you shortly, guys. This car is pretty crazy. Alright guys, so as you can see I'm currently in the driver's seat, we got the Mustang logo right there, and as you can see the hood is currently down guys, so this is looking pretty cool. So as you can see when I now do this, the hood comes all the way up, this is pretty awesome guys, and latches all the way back, and then I'll just put it back down again, Who the hell is it? and there we go. So that is pretty cool guys, it's all electric, so I think for the most of the ride we're just going to be going like this guys, with the roof down. As you can see here we've got some nice scenery going around here guys, some nice California scenery. Oh, yep, we've come to, come to a bit of a stop now, but yeah, I'll, I'll be back to you shortly, I might just record some scenery guys, do a bit of a montage. I'll see you probably once we are in Las Vegas guys, so I'll see you in about 5 hours.
Okay guys, so as you can see it is now currently night time and if you look around, yes, we are now in Las Vegas guys and you can even see the sign over there saying Las Vegas sort of. And um, yeah, so it took about five hours to get here guys, but we're just on the main uh, Las Vegas Boulevard guys and we're just taking in all the sights guys. We traveled all the way around um, Route 66 I'm pretty sure it was, so like around, um, uh, what's it called, like the, what's the desert called, the Mojave Desert, like around the Salt Lake City area I'm pretty sure, and oh my god we are just driving, we're still in the Mux Mustang by the way, and we are just, oh my gosh this is absolutely insane, but let's just keep on driving guys, I'm gonna do a little montage and just record all the sights guys so yeah i'll see you probably once we are at our hotel of it so yeah this is Las Vegas guys we pretty much just traveled all the way down the strip guys and we made it because here we are in front right standing right in front of the Las Vegas sign guys the world famous Las Vegas sign so this is pretty cool just sort of looking around here seeing all the sights all those crazy lights that Las Vegas has guys but anyway let's just uh, continue on I guess Okay guys, so we have just parked the Mustang at this uh, this parking garage here at the Harris Hotel guys, because this is where we're staying. Oh, the roof is coming down guys, but yeah, this is, we're staying at the Harris Hotel, so this is kind of just the parking lot here, but uh, we're kind of in a rush, so we got to get all of our bags and all that out and go to the elevator over there and go to our room, I guess guys, because we haven't actually even checked in yet, so I've probably got to do that pretty quick and then yeah I'll see you once that has been done. I'm currently just looking out the um, the parking lot guys and there's sort of a ferris wheel looking thing over there guys this is pretty crazy and this is literally just the parking lot through here but uh, yeah I guess we'll just continue to make our way to the reception guys and there's the Mustang by the way. There it is Harris. 
Welcome to Harris, guys. Oh, we even got a little Ben and Jerry's thing over there. A little, oh, there's the pool area through there. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm pretty sure it must be down there. I'm just gonna go this way, guys. Okay, guys, so finally we have found the main reception room. So here it is here. So we're just gonna wait in line to check into our uh, hotel room, guys. And this place, this is all the hotel, by the way. And you can even see there's a casino through there. You can sort of see it through there, guys. That's the casino. And this is pretty much the entire hotel lobby, guys. So this is one crazy looking hotel. Definitely the biggest we've stayed in so far. They've got like a store through there. Uh, oh, that Las Vegas sign over there. They've even got like some sort of a little ball going on over there, by the way, guys. And like a Ben and Jerry's store. It's pretty crazy. But here's Bo Pete, by the way. What do you think of Las <laughs> Vegas, Bo Pete? Oh, it's, it's just like it is in the movies. Yep, that's right. It's some pretty crazy sights. Lots of lights, guys. They like their lights here. Um, but anyway, let's just check in and then go up to our hotel room, guys. But I'm just interested in this um, lobby here because this is some this is pretty crazy stuff here. Obviously, we can't go in that um, casino over there for obvious reasons. But yeah, let's just keep on making our way up to the registration, guys. Alright guys, so everything's all been sorted out now and we have just gotten to our room guys and this is it. So we got Bo Pete on the bed over there, got the TV going, this is looking like a pretty good room so far guys, you can see we got a nice little view out here by the way, pretty good view, you can sort of see in the distance over there, there's a, another hotel over there, there's the treasure hotel over there. So yeah, this is a pretty good little room, guys. Bo Pete's just chilling out. We got the two beds here, just the just the basics, pretty much, guys. But this will do. So yeah, this is our setup, just to show you guys. Through here, we got the flash bathroom, by the way, guys. Shower, toilet, you know the drill, guys. I'm not gonna go through everything. Just to give you guys sort of a bit of a tour of the hotel, guys, because I don't even, I don't want to let anything out, guys. I don't want to, I want to include everything and be as in-depth as possible, guys. So uh, through here, of course, we've got most of the hotel, guys. We've got one. I'm definitely going to get lost in here, by the way, guys. Like, it is inevitable. You're always going to get lost in something like this. But, yeah, we got both hallways down there the elevators are just down here I'm not too sure what that means there mountain i think that's because this some um, this hotel has like two towers guys so i got the mountain tower and the valley tower so we're obviously in the uh, valley tower just through here we've also got the elevators by the way guys what is, is that a window there let's look at this view um Wow, that is a pretty good view, guys. We got the uh, Ferris wheel over there. That's the the Har I think that's the uh, Valley Tower there. What we're in there. So uh, yeah, this hotel. Do not underestimate this hotel, guys, because this is a big hotel. And we're on the eighth floor, by the way. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get lost in here. What's through here? I'm just gonna like do a little tour of this hotel. I'm pretty sure there is like a pool area too, which we'll have to check out sometime soon. Um, but yeah, nothing, I don't really think there's anything else to see, guys. I'm just gonna go back to the room. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I am currently in bed, so we didn't actually get to go out um, back to the uh, Las Vegas Boulevard to do anything, guys, because it is actually 1 a.m. at the moment, guys, so time literally just flew by today, um, but it was a pretty good day, guys. We we got to travel around in the, um, the Mustang from L.A. here to uh, Las Vegas, and it is just crazy, that L Las Vegas Boulevard, guys. We didn't actually go back... Um, because like I said, it is 1am, so we got to get that rest, guys, because there'll be more recording tomorrow, so don't you worry. So um, I'm going to get some rest, because uh, it's 1am, so yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the continuation of episode 7 of the LA Vlog series, guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it is currently the next day, guys, and yes, I'm currently in the elevator, as you can see, and I'm just going to be, like, exploring this, ele this um, hotel, guys, because 
Yesterday I did do a bit of exploring, but we pretty much just came to Vegas, went to the hotel and went to bed, guys. So we didn't do a lot of exploring yesterday. So we'll probably explore around um, Las Vegas a bit more today, guys. But let's just have a bit of a look around this hotel because I didn't really even see um, where the pool area is, guys. So let's see. I'm not too sure. What, oh, got to do the card first. Hang on a second. Is this going to work? Oh, yep, we're going up. All right, let's see where this pool area is. All right, so I'm now on level 21, guys, and this is looking like a pretty good view, guys. We got Caesar's Palace over there, and yesterday I didn't even really explain to you, like, what all of these buildings are, but we got Caesar's Palace, which is all of these buildings over here, and that's basically probably, I would say, maybe the well, the most well-known um, casino here in Las Vegas, and that's a pretty big deal. Um... What's that over there? Hilton Grand Vacations. Fl oh, the Flamingo Hotel. That's another famous one. And of course, we've got the uh, Ferris Wheel over there. I don't even think that's moving at the moment. Not too sure when they open that up. But uh, yeah, some pretty good views. Not really seeing where the pool area is, guys. I have no idea where that is. But I think down there, that's the main um, Vegas Boulevard, they call it. So uh, I'm just going to keep on walking through here all right guys so i just got on this elevator and it turns out there's even more floors guys so 35 this do not under like i said earlier do not underestimate this hotel oh my gosh guys so we are now even higher up guys and we can see a lot of the uh vegas boulevard from here guys there's caesar's palace over there literally all that there that there is just the main vegas strip going down there there is a lot to see going down there guys lots of action this is a pretty good view guys and we got all of that residential area over there for las vegas all right guys i'm just gonna go all the way down to level one guys casino hotel lobby and this elevator is going pretty fast guys look at this it's like a joyride Alright, so this is all looking pretty familiar, guys. There's a reception there, some shopping areas down here. I'm going to have a look in here, guys, because I'm pretty sure this is the main little shop that the hotel has, guys. So let's just have a little look around here. Just the basics, pretty much, guys. All the hotel essentials. we got some snacks here, ice cream, all of that stuff, guys. All of that good stuff. Drinks, chips are over there. Okay guys, so I've just walked out here and I did not even know that this area here even existed guys. This is like the main entrance and we completely like skipped this part guys. We literally, I think we just drove right through there all the way down to there guys. So I did not even know that this part even existed. Yeah, self parking garage, that's where we went. Um, but yeah, this is, oh that's where we parked in there guys. I think that's the parking building there. I, I don't even know guys. It's all a bit confusing in this hotel. It's definitely probably one of the biggest hotels in Las Vegas guys. I'm not too sure but uh, yeah, let's just keep on walking. Let's just go back in here guys. Alright guys, so I just found this monorail ticket, so uh, I think, where is Harris, guys, where's Harris at, oh here, so we're here, so this whole thing here is a monorail that you can travel, see, we can actually just take the monorail down to, oh here it is, Luxor here, that pyramid thing, so this is pretty cool guys, that Las Vegas has its own monorail, so it turns out that there is actually a lot more to this hotel that I was expecting guys like there's all these restaurants along here and uh, I don't think I'm technically I'm not in the casino right now guys because it is over to that side but yeah this place is looking pretty crazy guys I think it's this way oh mountain tower what is this through here I'm just gonna get out of this casino guys because I don't even really know whether I'm meant to be here but uh it's just oh my god which one is it? I'm just gonna... Where's the button for this? Hi! Alright, so now apparently it's saying that there's 63 floors in this elevator, so I really don't even know what's going on here. How many floors even are there? Because this is... This is a really confusing layout, but... What is through here, guys? Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna get lost in this place sometime soon, guys. What is... Oh, there's a vending machine there. Wait, roof access? What is this? Can I even go through there? 
Um, hopefully, I'm allowed out here. Oh. Yeah, I really wait. Hang on, let me let me look through here, guys, because this is all a bit confusing right now. What is through here? Oh my god, this is a great looking view, guys. Oh my god, you can see so much from here. I'm so wait, ha that's Harris too. So I think our room must be one of those there on either side of those. I really don't even know, guys, but um. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely an insane view. You can see the, the boulevard through there. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Alright, so I've just tapped on this convention center slash pool. So I'm going to check out this area, guys. Hopefully the pool is open. Let's just see, guys. Alright, so here we are. Not too sure that, oh, there's escalators going down that way, but I do not know what that's all about. There's even more. How many? Why do they need so many elevators? There's like 20 elevators here. And let's just. What is through? This is literally. I have no idea what that area is there. I'm gonna get. Oh, there's a map here. Let's look at this map. Um. Oh, okay. So there's the. Is that the reception? I really don't even know. Oh, this is floor two. Oh my god. What's down these escalators, guys? Let's let's figure this out. We need to get to the bottom of it. This, that looks like the back room's there. I don't know what that's all about. But what is down these escalators, guys? Because I've got to sort this floor, pan, this floor plan out, guys. Because I really... Oh, that's a casino there. Okay, so we're back on level one now. Okay. Right, well, what's down here then? Wait. Pool closed for the season. What? Are you kidding me right now? The pool is closed right now? Oh my god. Well, that's sad. I'm guessing that's the pool somewhere up there, guys. It's the pool area there. Well, I guess there's no pool, guys, so that's a bit, that's a bit depressing, but uh, it's down there. Even more room. Alright, guys, this is looking pretty familiar down here, guys. I was so close to being lost in a casino just then, but here we are, 8032, so let's just go on through here. Here we are, home sweet home, guys. So we are back in the room, safe and sound. And here's our view, by the way. So out there, there's our little view. Alright, guys, this is looking pretty familiar down here, guys. I was so close to being lost in a casino just then, but here we are, 8032, so let's just go on through here. Alright guys, so I'm just about to enter this McDonald's here, which is literally right next to the hotel, so let's just walk on up here. Probably not going to get anything too big, probably just, just for lunch guys, so yeah, we'll just keep on walking up here up to this McDonald's, and yeah, I'll get back to you shortly. Okay guys, so I'm just sitting here outside uh, the McDonald's guys, and I just got myself a crispy chicken sandwich, they call it guys, and this is not on the uh, New Zealand McDonald's menu guys, so I'm just going to try this out, never tried this before obviously, uh, it's in a bit of a weird little packaging thing here, the crispy chicken, but let's just take it out here and see what we got guys, hang on, alright, so here it is guys, the crispy chicken sandwich. Guys, you can definitely taste the uh, the um, gherkins, guys. Mm, not bad. Didn't expect McDonald's to do such a good job with a chicken sandwich, but here we go. Okay, guys, so I'm now just heading out of McDonald's in the background there, and that was pretty good, guys. I'm actually pretty surprised at um, what McDonald's did, guys, because in New Zealand we don't really have sort of items in McDonald's like that, but yeah, that was pretty good. I'll probably stick with my uh, 9 out of 10 sort of rating, guys. Um, yeah, the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. I'm just going to head back into the hotel here, guys. Uh, hopefully this is the right end because there are literally so many entrances to this place. Um, pretty much just walking through the casino right now. Oh my gosh. Let's just try to get to the hotel, guys. Hopefully I'm not breaking any rules because this is literally the casino that I'm in right now. And hopefully I can actually find my way back to the room. I'm just going to follow this path here because I do not want to get lost in this place. 
So let's just keep on walking. Alright guys, so here's Lil Bo Peep just chillaxing with his beers, cause he needs his beers guys, you know Bo Peep, his Budweiser's. Now nice. I'm on the Clash. Oh Clash, what is that, Clash Royale? Yeah. Uh, pe oh, stupid kids these days playing Clash Royale, gosh. Back in my day we played Minecraft on the Team TMS channel, think about that. So anyway. I played it when it, when it first came out on the Xbox 360. Anywho, guys, just gotta enjoy this little scenery we got out here, guys, because this is a pretty good view out here. And yes, it is currently night time now, so there you have it. We'll be going back out on the Las Vegas Boulevard soon, guys, and we will also be seeing the America's Got Talent live in Las Vegas show, guys, so that's going to be really interesting, so I don't think the judges or anything will be there, like Simon Cowell and Howie Mandel and all that, but it's going to be pretty interesting. I think it's just, like, all of the best, um, what do you call it, like, the best contestants that have been on the show, so they're just going to be redoing it, I guess, guys, and doing their own little show but yeah like I said I don't think like the host or the judges or anything will be there but it'll be pretty cool guys the America's Got Talent live in Las Vegas show and I think it is in the uh the Luxor Hotel and Resort guys it's that um pyramid thing with the light that comes out the top of it so this is going to be pretty cool guys so uh, we'll probably be leaving in just a few minutes guys and uh yeah I'll record some more scenery of the Las Vegas Boulevard guys okay guys so we are currently just waiting out at the uh, the hotel lobby sort of area just outside here and uh, I don't know what's going on around here there's like a stretcher in there so this is looking pretty intense but yeah we're just gonna wait for our Uber guys because we're gonna get a Uber to our uh, to the Luxor Hotel that theater so uh, yeah we're just gonna walk past here hopefully it's nothing too serious there's the Harris logo there Alright guys, here's our Uber, so we're just gonna hop into our Uber and there's Bo Pizza. So yeah, let's just get in here and I'll see you once we are at the America's Got Talent show, guys. Let's just get into the Uber. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are now currently at the Luxor Hotel, guys, and this is looking pretty crazy. This is like the main entrance, not that uh, part. Oh, there's Bo Peep causing a scene as usual. But yeah, obviously this is not the pyramid part of the uh, Luxor Hotel, but it is like Egyptian themed, I'm pretty sure. There is a lot of like Egyptian sort of themed stuff around here. Like at the front of that pyramid thing, there is actually like, um, I don't know what they call it in Egypt, but it's that big like lion statue with the, the human head on it. I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, it's got a bit of a Egyptian sort of a theme to this hotel. So it's a pretty cool hotel, guys. Um, We'll check out the uh, pyramid thing with the uh, laser coming out of the top of it later on. But um, yeah, this is the Luxor Hotel. So let's just keep on walking through here and make our way to the uh, to the theater, I guess, guys. And I'm probably we're probably going to get lost, guys. Are it? Oh wait, Luxor Theater. Is that yeah, Luxor Theater? Okay, so it is this way. So we're on the right track. Oh, there's a casino through there as well. It's kind of crazy how you can literally just like be walking through a casino here guys. Like oh my god, you've literally got to walk through all of this casino stuff just to get to the theatre guys. That's how they trick you here in Nevada to do gambling. You've got to walk all the way next to these machines so that they attach you to do the gambling guys. That's how they trick you. Alright, here we go. America's Got Talent live in Las Vegas, guys. So here it is here, AGT. This is pretty exciting. Let's just quickly make our way through here, guys, to America's Got Talent. Alright, guys, here I am in front of this uh, America's Got Talent uh, backdrop, guys. It's very professional. Only celebrities get to walk through here or on the red carpet at the moment. This is pretty insane. Let's just keep on walking through this red carpet and into the theatre. Oh my gosh, guys. This is absolutely insane, guys. There it is there. Yeah, A, the official AGT song. Right, Team Howie, on the count of three, I would like you to shout out your favourite thing to eat in the world ever. So what you really love to eat, nice and loudly on the... As a child, I was 
all bad for you. Just make one up. It doesn't matter. But shout really loudly, okay? It's the name of the pet you had as a child, nice and loudly on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> So even you don't know what order they're in now, Caleb, correct? Wonderful. Now, for this next bit, I need a glamorous assistant, a sort of a Varna White figure. Um, so, uh, jo Joey, was there? Was there? No, you don't get to point at someone else. But, 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 Josh, Josh, it was Josh, excellent. Okay, Josh, will you, will you come here? Josh, will you hold your hand up flat like a table? Your job is to guard those cards, okay, buddy? If anyone tries to come and take them from you, you have my permission. thing it looks like guys that is a very tall ceiling up there guys but let's just keep on walking because we are in the uh the Luxor Hotel and Resort right now guys so let's just keep on walking and uh yeah see the outsides of Luxor Hotel. Alright 
Alright guys, so we are currently walking past the Expel of the, oh, there goes the monorail by the way guys. Um, but yeah, I think it's called the Expel of the um, hotel guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm currently just outside the Luxor Hotel Pyramid. And this is looking pretty insane guys, it's got the big sort of ray that goes on top of it and those little light things going down the sides of it and over here by the way is the sphinx and that is a big sphinx in front of it so obviously we've got a bit of a egyptian theme going on there we've got the big luxor sign the monorail going that way so this is all looking pretty cool guys and if you look sort of closely you can actually see the america's got talent las vegas sign sort of just on the pyramid guys so this is all pretty cool guys there is a lot to see around here hyper x esports arena this is just absolutely crazy and over there of course we have got the main hollywood boulevard going that way all right guys so we are currently on a bridge on top of the hollywood boulevard guys and we are getting some pretty epic views guys we got a, another laugh factory over there by the way guys from uh when kramer from seinfeld had his little incident guys but we won't mention that but we got the mgm grand over there the planet hollywood building there is just so much to even talk about guys we got the the New York, New York thing over there with uh, the Statue of Liberty. This is just absolutely insane, guys. Alright, guys, even more sights here. I've really got to stop recording, guys, because, like, every second I literally have to record, but this is just so amazing, especially when you see it in person, guys. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but, yeah, that is a big MGM sign there, by the way, guys. I just need to point that out, like... That is a big sign Old just David right there. Copperfield is performing in the MGM Grand. Who? David what? Copperfield, the oh, magician. David Copperfield. Oh, okay. And we got the, the Laugh Factory over there. You can't really see the sign, but yeah, this is the Tropicana Las Vegas Resort, guys. And yeah, let's just keep on moving. Oh, look at that lion statue over there, guys. That is crazy. Alright guys, even more stuff, we got Hershey's Chocolate World, I'm pretty sure that's Reese's World or something like that. Uh, what do we got over here? I think over there we've actually got uh, Coca-Cola World guys, and we've also got a little mini Hollywood Walk of Fame type thing going on there, I'm not too sure what that's all about, but um, yeah, oh, Pepsi Cola World is over there, you can't really see it, but oh no, you can, there it is, Pepsi Cola World. There is just so much stuff going on, and look at that limo there, guys. Alright guys, so over here we have got the M&M's world, guys, and this is just absolutely crazy. Like, there is a, there's a world for everything, guys, around here. Like, this is just absolutely crazy. Look at all the scenery here with all the resort casino hotels, guys. Like, this is just crazy. Gosh, guys, everything in here is literally just Eminem themed. This is just absolutely crazy. Only in Las Vegas, guys, would you find something like this. And there's Bo Peep. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all of these Eminems. This is just crazy. That is so many Eminems. Like, we've got the peanut selection here, milk chocolate, brownie over here, guys. Like, this is just crazy. Like, look at all these individual M&M's and I think Lil Bo Peep's mouth is watering right now just looking at all of this. Okay guys, so we're still in the M&M's uh, factory guys and I'm literally about to get my own face literally printed onto a bunch of M&M's guys. So this is going to be absolutely crazy. Tom Duncan's is about to get his own M&M's guys with his own face on it. So that is just absolutely crazy guys. So it's going to be kind of like that where you can sort of just choose your own sort of patterns and pictures to put on it. So that is just absolutely crazy, but they're printing it out now, guys. You're just printing out my M&Ms currently, uh, right now, and you can see here, get ready, set, print, guys. So print your own face on your own M&Ms, guys. Okay, guys, so I just got my M&Ms printed, and look at that, guys. Look, you can see my face sort of in there. I've got my iconic Tom Duncan's sunglasses on, guys, and look at that. That is pretty funny, guys, and there's a Team TMS one there, too. That is just absolutely insane. I'm definitely going to be treasuring this for a very long time, guys. M&Ms with my own face on it.
That is absolutely insane. Alright guys, so we are still just walking down the main Hollywood Boulevard guys and there's the Gucci shop down there. That is some crazy architecture guys, all these designer stores and flashing lights all the way down there guys. This place is just absolutely crazy. But I'm still, I've still got my M&M's bag by the way guys, so I'll dig into them later on my custom M&M's with my face on it guys and that's a that is definitely a once in a lifetime of opportunity guys like not a lot of people can say that they got their face printed on M&M's guys like that is pretty crazy but let's just keep on walking guys Alright guys, so I'm now on one of these other sky bridges here guys and something interesting is even going on over here guys because there's some sort of a roadblock or something guys I don't know what's going on there but yeah there's a police car just blocking that road and there's some more police cars up there so not too sure what's going on there but uh yeah this is pretty crazy guys a pretty good view and we got the taco bells over there guys yeah this is oh it seems to oh is it clearing up here yeah, the police these cars still there. Not too sure what's going on there, but uh, that billboard there, by the way, guys, is absolutely crazy, guys. Like, this whole area is just mad, guys. Like, this is crazy. And people are starting to get mad, guys. There's cars beeping and all sorts going on. Alright, here we are in Taco Bell, guys, and this looks like a pretty interesting Taco Bell, guys. Not your standard Taco Bell restaurant, but uh, yeah, we're just going to order some Taco Bell for dinner, guys, and see what they got. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back to you once we have got it. Our, uh, our selection. Alright guys, so I just got my taco bell guys, I got the same order as last time, I got the, uh, oh wait, this is the burrito here, I think this is the, uh, the Doritos taco, and uh, just the normal taco I think that is, and the, uh, fries of course, and the cheese dipping. So this is looking pretty good at the moment guys, we're just sitting around this area here in the upstairs part of the Taco Bell, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to dig into here, I'll have the uh, Doritos Taco first guys. Alright guys, so here it is all on unpacked guys, so of course this, this is the Doritos Locos Tacos guys. I'm still not entirely sure what this is. Okay guys, so we are now just heading out of uh, Taco Bell, guys, and that was a pretty good meal. Probably just as good as last time, guys. I, I've already told you, but I got the exact same meal as last time. I'll probably stick with my, I think it was 8.5 I gave it last time, uh, as far as I remember, but um, yeah, we're just gonna walk back down the uh, Hollywood, oh, not the Hollywood Boulevard, the Las Vegas Boulevard, guys, and uh, back to our hotel. Alright guys, so we're still just travelling around and there is a lot to see guys, there is the Eiffel Tower over there, Planet Hollywood just there guys, Caesars Palace is over there, you can sort of see the sign there, it's a bit blurry, but yeah it is just so crazy, there's the Flamingo Hotel over there. Alright guys, here's the rich and famous Tom Duncan's me just in front of my uh, mansion here in Beverly Hills guys, yep this is my whole house here guys, it's got about just over a thousand rooms guys, not too, not too big, I mean it's got a movie cinema, it's got a theatre, it's got bowling alleys, just the usual guys, nothing too big, it's just, yeah it's the TMTMS headquarters guys. One day guys, one day this is going to be the Team TMS HQ, this whole building here. Yeah, so uh, this will be my bedroom up here, guest rooms down here, lounge sort of area down here with the movie theatre, my, my personal pool down here, the guest room will be over here guys, and then Lil Bo Peep can just have this little Caesars Palace over here guys, one day, you just wait. So just to show you guys, this is the Gordon Ramsay fish and chip shop that I was talking about, so yeah, he clearly does have quite a few uh, restaurants here in Las Vegas, he's got the Hell's Kitchen, this one, I'm pretty sure I also saw like a burger one as well, so yeah, this is Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Specially prepared by Gordon Ramsay. Oh wait, uh, yeah, Harris Hotel, so it's this way, so let's keep on walking this way I guess guys. Okay guys, so we have successfully made it back to the Harris Hotel guys, so let's just make our way over to the entrance and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once we are back in the room.
Okay guys, so as you can see we are now safe and sound back in our hotel guys, so it's literally about 1am right now, so it has been a pretty big night guys, uh, definitely, obviously the um, best thing was the America's Got Talent show guys, and the my, probably my favourite act was the um, the Danger Act guys, I keep forgetting what they're called, but the knife throwing one guys, because that was so intense, like I was freaking out for the duration of that whole thing guys, because one wrong move, one slight sort of, because he was, his whole like face was just covered guys, so he could not see a whole thing, so one wrong sort of turn, like not in the right direction, he threw that knife, that, that could have ended extremely badly guys, there could have been a lot of blood involved in that guys, so it all turned out fine, but it was definitely a very suspenseful um, little act they did there, so yeah, that was definitely a very cool show to see live guys, America's Got Talent live in Las Vegas. And we did see quite a few sort of sights on the Las Vegas um, Boulevard guys, so yeah, it was a pretty good night. But we're gonna um, get some sleep, so I will see you in the morning, and yeah. Alright guys, I've just opened my uh, M&M's cup here, as you can see. And this is pretty incredible, guys, because if you look closely here... Hang on, if it's gonna focus, one second, guys. That is me. That is the famous Tom Duncan's printed onto a M&M, guys. And hold on, where's the, uh, oh, here we are, Team TMS. Here we go. I got that printed on there too, so that's pretty cool, guys. Team TMS. Custom Team TMS M&Ms, guys. That is pretty crazy. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it is currently the next day, guys. And I just want to show you something. Bo Pete is completely drunked out, guys. He has drinking. He drank so much last night. And he's just got such a hangover right now. Like, look at all those beers he drunk. Look at him. Say something, Bo Peep. I need a beer. Oh, he needs even more beers. Look at him. He is. Bo Peep is completely drunk right now, guys. I don't know what to make of this, but there he is there. He's just in beer, just hungover, guys. I don't know what to say. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Ain't that right, Bo Peep? Um, but yeah, not too sure what the plans are for today. Uh, what? Yep, completely drunk, guys. I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, not too sure what the plans are for today, guys. I mean, we'll probably go back onto the uh, Hollywood Bowl of our guys and check out a few more things. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm now currently at the monorail station guys, so I'm going to be heading down this escalator here guys, and uh, yeah, we're going to be heading on to the monorail guys, and we're going to be going up North Hollywood, so that's where the stratosphere is, and that's Alright, we got it, we got it to the monorail guys, so here we are, okay. That, that could have been a close call, guys, because I do not want a repeat of that. Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is Las Vegas so Convention Center State. So yeah, we're going to be heading up north Las Vegas, guys. So I think that's where the uh, stratosphere is, guys. That like big tower. So we're going to be seeing that situation there. It's actually got like a roller coaster on top of it. But yeah, so I'm just taking in the views, guys. The good, the good old Las Las Vegas views. Okay guys, so we just got off the Las Vegas monorail guys, that was a pretty smooth ride, it was definitely a lot better than the uh, the Hollywood um, metro rail guys, because that was just a whole nightmare guys, like literally, I'm so surprised we didn't get lost on that thing guys, and it definitely helps with the monorail where you can actually see where you are, you're not literally just underground and you have no idea where you are, and um, anywho, here is the stratosphere there, as you can see, guys. That is the stratosphere, that big tower. And uh, like I said, it does actually have a uh, roller coaster right on top of it, guys. So don't think we're going to be doing that, but uh, it's just crazy to think, like, that is such a tall roller coaster up there, guys. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm actually currently just walking through the uh, Sahara um, Hotel guys. I uh, wasn't expecting to, do, to um, do this, but the thing about Las Vegas that you've got to understand is to get pretty much everywhere, whether it's literally just crossing the street, you've actually got to go through all these like hotels and casinos and all that. And it's just a way for the uh, casinos to trap you in there and, you know, distract you from getting to your destination and do all this gambling and all that. So um, that's the thing about Las Vegas, you've always got to walk through some sort of casino or hotel just to get anywhere really, guys. And um, it's actually a fact that they, what they do in casinos is that they purposely design the casino to be misleading and sort of hard to get out of guys so it sort of traps you in the casino so you do even more gambling guys so they purposefully design the uh, casinos poorly um, but yeah so that's the Sahara right there guys the Sahara Hotel and Casino but um there's the monorail just up there right guys so I just thought of pointing this out they've literally got a little wedding thing here where you just get a wedding like just instantly guys so if you're drunk living it up in Las Vegas guys you can literally get we a wedding and this is it says pretend wedding there but there's actually another wedding place over there and you can literally get a legal wedding if you're like drunk in Las Vegas and literally just get a wedding here in Las Vegas and get legally married in this place here guys so that is absolutely insane i thought that was just a whole fake thing that they did in movies but i'm i'm pretty sure it was the hangover that they did that the movie the hangover where they got like a wedding and because the, they were so drunk that they literally had a marriage sort of thing going on so yeah that's that's that back there only in las vegas guys again you know what they say what happens in vegas stays in vegas guys so here we are in the stratosphere guys so i just i really don't actually know what way we're meant to be going guys to get up that tower but yeah we're just having to walk through this casino as per usual this is what you've got to do in las vegas guys just to show you guys how tall the uh the stratosphere skypod tower is this is the Eiffel Tower here guys, and then this is the Stratosphere Skypod. So we're going to be almost above the full, um, oh wait, here's the Eiffel Tower here. So we'll literally be above the Eiffel Tower guys, so that is pretty insane. And uh, here's the Sydney Tower here, so this is, this is a tall tower guys, so this is no joke. Okay guys, so we just took the elevator up here just from uh, over there guys and as you can see we are all the way at the top and this is one crazy view guys, look at this, this is Las Vegas guys and there's the highway there, uh, that's not the main Las Vegas strip there by the way guys, I'm not actually sure what that is over there. But I'm just going to keep on looking around guys, do a 360 round here and uh, try to find where the main Las Vegas Boulevard is guys. But there's the, like I said, the highway there. Bo Pizza. Oh, what is this? Oh my, oh, this is like a 3D, 360 um, thing here. Yeah, I'm trying to find what we're looking at. Oh. What do you oh, think of the view, Bo Pete? There. That's all topic testing uh, that, that building is. Alright guys, so I just did a bit of a 360 round here and there is the Las Vegas Strip there guys. So this is a pretty crazy view guys. You can sort of see all the main buildings. There's sort of there's Caesar's Palace in the distance there. I uh, can't really see oh there's there's Trump Tower over there. You can sort of see it. It's a bit blurry on the camera. Uh, I don't think you can see the uh, Luxor Pyramid guys, it's a bit far away, but this is pretty crazy guys, this is one amazing view. Feels like we're in some sort of a UFO or something, just floating above. Okay guys, so I'm just looking at this little interactive map thing here, and I'm pretty sure out in the distance there, that might be the Mojave Desert guys, I'm not entirely sure. But I think that's around like where um, Death Valley is guys in the distance over there. And uh, I think Salt Lake City is also pretty near around here guys. Oh, there's a little rainbow over there. You can, can't really see it on the camera, but yeah, we got a little rainbow going on over there. Look at all those little ants down there guys. There's tiny little ants and we're all the way up here. You can see as far as the eye can see guys. 
there guys so as you can see we are now literally outside guys and sorry if i'm shaking it is very cold out here because we are very high up in the sky guys and there's Bo Peep just taking in the views again we got a nice sunset over there but yeah that is the the uh what do you call it Las Vegas strip right there guys so that is pretty crazy guys lots of crazy views around here and uh, I'm freaking out right now guys because we are literally outside this high up and this is just such a crazy view and if you look over there that is literally a ride like a fearful sort of like the um, thing we did at Knott's Berry Farm and uh yeah so it literally just goes all the way up there and drops down there guys and I may be doing that not too sure guys we'll see what happens but I'll, I'll just freak out if I do that guys because this is so freaky this has to be like the highest uh, amusement ride ever guys like this is just so crazy just looking out at this Okay guys, so here we are right at the very top guys, and I cannot believe I'm going to be doing this, but I'm about to do this fearful guys, and this one actually goes up guys, instead of like shooting down, so it shoots all the way up, then slowly down guys, so this one shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, I'll see you guys after this, because I'm freaking out right now. Okay guys, so I just got off that thing guys, and that was absolutely terrifying, look at that view behind me by the way. Oh man, that was so terrifying guys. The most terrifying thing is literally just waiting there, waiting for it to actually shoot up guys. And then it just shoots you right up to the top of the air guys. You can literally see 360 just everything guys. That is such a crazy thing. Oh my god. That really makes your stomach feel really weird too and it just shoots you up there and then you just stay there and then you go back down again. That is just such a crazy ride guys. Oh my god. I need to chillax guys. I'll be back to you soon because that was just so intense. Look how high that goes guys. Oh. Was that worse than the Knott's Berry Farm one? Not too sure actually because I think this one is actually a bit shorter but it is like higher in terms of you know viewing um but yeah oh I just need to relax guys I'll be back to you soon what what did you think of that Bo Pete was that thrilling yeah I reckon it was a bit better because it was way taller yeah Okay guys, so we are now just getting back down the escalator guys, and I, I definitely need a breather after that guys, so we're just going to go back to the hotel for a while guys, just relax because that was just such a crazy experience guys, but at least now I can say I've done it guys, I've done that drop at the stratosphere guys, that was by far the tallest uh, ride or experience that I've ever done in my life guys, that was just so crazy, but I did it. I eventually did it guys, I didn't chicken out, but um, yeah, let's just, we'll have to walk back through this casino as you can see over here guys, so let's just keep on walking through here, go back to the monorail, and then uh, yeah, we'll see you once we are at the hotel room. Okay guys, so as you can see we are now walking back to the Harris Hotel and that's actually a pretty convenient station by the way guys for the monorail because basically all you have to do to get back to the uh, Harris Hotel is just walk down here to the right. It's a pretty convenient thing guys, the Las Vegas monorail but anyway let's just keep on walking and I'm still like freaking out after that uh, drop guys. That was just so crazy, like I was screaming even like five minutes after the, the ride finished guys, like that was so crazy, I cannot believe I went forward with that, but I did it. Okay guys, so uh, home sweet home, we are back in the room and we won't actually be here for long though because we do actually have a surprise coming guys, and I don't know what this is, but this is actually going to be our last night in America, guys, because we'll be heading to San Francisco tomorrow on a plane, and then we'll be heading back to New Zealand after that, guys. So it's going to be our last night. We're going to have a surprise. I, I don't even know whether it's a show or something, but, yeah, we've got something planned. But, um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you when we're there, nevertheless, because I really don't know what to expect. But, yeah, this should be a pretty big deal, guys, but I'll see you once we are there. All right guys, so we are now back on the uh, Las Vegas Boulevard guys and there's the uh, hotel just above us there so let's just, oh my god, look at that fire over there guys, it's the volcano thing. 
Oh my god, look at that over there. Okay guys, so we are currently now in the Mirage Hotel, and the surprise was Shin Lim guys, so we're going to be watching Shin Lim live, and we've got VIP seats by the way guys, so we're going to be in like the third or second row guys, and um, for those of you who don't know who Shin Lim is, he's basically like, uh, he won a season of uh, America's Got Talent guys, like he won the entire thing, and he's like this crazy magician, and he does all these tricks, guys so it's kind of crazy that we just saw AGT live and now we're going to be seeing the winner of uh, AGT I'm not too sure what year it was like 2018 or something maybe but yeah I'm looking forward to this guys because I've always looked up to Shin Lim as like a magician guys like like four years ago or whatever so it's kind of crazy that we're finally going to be seeing him live guys Shin Lim so this is going to be pretty crazy but let's just get him live we're still at the Mirage Hotel guys we got the casino through the yeah, and um, yeah, I guess we'll see you once we are in the theatre, guys, which I'm guessing is just through there, but we got to go to the box office first. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've got my VIP guest, Shin Lim, uh, code here, so we're just going to be walking through to the theatre, it should just be through there, the Mirage Theatre, so this is going to be a pretty big deal, guys, because Shin Lim is probably, if not the, one of the greatest magicians in the world, guys, because... And we're actually going to see him live, because the thing about seeing him on TV is like, you don't really know if it's just camera tricks or what, or like, editing tricks that they're doing to make the magic seem more real, but when, when it's live, guys, you know it's the real deal, guys, like, they, they cannot do any sort of camera tricks or anything when it's live, guys, so this is going to be really interesting to see, but let's just head on to the Mirage Theatre, and uh, let's meet Shin Lim, guys, I'm really looking forward to this guys okay guys so sad news you're not actually allowed to record like video record in the uh, theater guys so that's sad news so no recording guys i'll just have to see you once we are out of the uh, theater guys because yeah there's no recording allowed which is a bit of a shame there's nothing you can really do about it guys so i'm just going to follow the rules but the theater is just in there but i'm going to stop recording guys i'm going to be good and follow the rules so yeah i'll see you after the show guys this this is going to be really exciting So I just got my Shin Lim's autograph there as you can see and I got, got a picture with him so that was pretty insane guys. I got to meet Shin Lim so that was pretty insane. There he is, he's still there just taking pictures with the VIP guys. So I'll keep this forever guys, this is a very special thing right here. The winner of America's Got Talent. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, so we are just getting out of the theatre, Shin Lim is still just back there guys, and that was so crazy guys, I got my autograph, that show was just absolutely amazing guys, sorry I couldn't really record too much of it, I did take a few pictures towards the end when they said it would be alright to take pictures, but no videos guys, but uh, yeah, that was just absolutely insane guys, like if I even recorded that, you guys would not believe what even just happened there guys because that was just absolutely insane shin lim i think the best um the best trick he did was uh he actually gave everyone in the audience cards like four cards and then he made us like split them in half and then shuffle them around and then like throw them around and uh we couldn't actually see what the cards were but at the very end of it um we actually had the exact same halves of the card that we got at the start of the thing guys so it's kind of hard to explain you've got to sort of see the video to understand it but it was just such a crazy trick guys and everyone in the audience got the same cards and that was just absolutely crazy guys 
hit on so many good tricks. I can't even explain some of the stuff I saw, guys, but that was Shin Lim, the greatest American, uh, America's Got Talent winner uh, ever, probably. Probably one of the greatest magicians ever, guys. Like, that was just so crazy. Still got my VIP thing on with the autograph there. So that is something to remember for a very long time, guys. Shin Lim here in Las Vegas. Okay, guys, so we are currently just back out on the Las Vegas Boulevard, guys. And there's our hotel, by the way, guys. Harris, it says up there. Yep, Harris. So, uh, yeah, we're not, I think we're actually going to see the... Uh, the volcano thing with all the fire guys so I think it is back there and I'm pretty sure it starts in about like 15 minutes or something so that'll be pretty interesting to see guys and sorry my voice is a bit weird at the moment I'm pretty sure I've got like a cold from being at the back of that uh, Mustang probably with all the wind so yeah my voice does sound a bit weird at the moment but uh yeah let's just keep on walking past our hotel and yeah we'll see the uh the volcano show soon guys Okay guys, so as you can see we are now back at the uh, Villaggio Hotel guys, so uh, hopefully the water display is about to I think the uh, fountains actually went a lot higher than the ones we saw at uh, Disneyland for the World of Colour and the uh, <coughs> Fantasmic. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't actually as much colour though as uh, compared to what we saw at Disneyland. But uh, I guess that just goes with the whole theme of uh, the Bellagio Hotel back there, guys. Um, so yeah, that was just pretty crazy, guys. A cool little thing to watch. But uh, I think now, just across, just across the road, we have the uh, Wall Burgers. So we're gonna be trying out Wall Burgers. It's a famous American uh, fast food chain. So we're gonna give it a try, guys. Wall Burgers. You can sort of see it over there. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you when we are uh, in Wall Burgers, guys. So here we are at Wahlburgers guys, so let's just go inside here, it's a bit loud guys, sorry about that, it shouldn't be too loud in here, it's a bit better in here, but yeah, this is Wahlburgers. Alright guys, so we have now got everything guys, here's my burger, I got the, uh, the barbecue bacon burger guys, so here it is, and this is looking pretty good guys. And I got the fries as well, of course, the wall burger fries. Got the drinks all set up. Bo Pete's got his burger. So this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna dig in, guys. I'm not gonna hesitate anymore. Okay guys, so we are now just heading out of our wall burgers guys, and that was a pretty good meal guys, pretty good burgers. I'll probably give it a, uh, not, uh, maybe an 8 out of 10 probably. Um, the only thing was the burger, like the patty, was a bit rare guys, but I did ask for medium rare, but uh, other than that, it was a pretty good meal guys, but let's just continue on. 
Okay guys, so as you can see we are back at the hotel and uh, we're getting ready for bed because it's about 2 o'clock now and um, this is going to be our very last night in America guys and tomorrow we will be heading to uh, San Francisco guys for the, um, well we'll be f flying here from Las Vegas to San Francisco and then from San Francisco back to New Zealand guys so a big day of flying tomorrow so we gotta get that rest guys we'll probably do some uh, Las Vegas souvenir shopping tomorrow as well and um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you in the morning for the big day, guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we are currently making our sad departure from the Harris Hotel, guys. Uh, last night was our final night, so we're just having to walk through the casino and out to the exit, guys. Uh, our plane leaves at 2 o'clock, I think, guys, 2 p.m. So uh, before we leave, we're going to do a bit of uh, souvenir shopping, guys, and just some final looks around, guys. So we'll just get that out of the way, and then, yeah, we'll leave uh, for the plane at, um, at 2 p.m. We've actually stored all of our luggage um, in, like, this little uh, luggage department in the hotel, guys. So, yeah, we don't have to lug that around, guys, and there's the final views of the casino guys but let's just get up this uh this escalator here um but yeah so i've stored all of our luggage away guys so we can just walk around buy some souvenirs and just do some final american things guys Okay guys, so I'm in this uh, souvenir shop guys, and apparently this is the world's largest souvenir shop guys, because it sort of continues around there, so we'll surely find some sort of souvenirs around here guys, so yeah, let's just keep on looking for some uh, Las Vegas memorandum guys. Hey Bo Pete, I've got a surprise for you. Beers. <laughs> Bo Pete needs his beers. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. He's magic. Bo Pete the magic man. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're just kidding, guys. We got this at a uh, souvenir shop, guys, and uh, yeah, we're just waiting around in this hotel here, just for waiting for the time to go by, guys. Just in sorrow, just our last moments at uh, America, guys. So yeah, we'll head to the uh, Las Vegas airport in about an hour or something. We'll do a bit more searching around, just souvenir shopping, all that kind of stuff. Uh, then yeah, we'll be flying to San Francisco and then spend an hour at the San Francisco airport and then back home guys So yeah, like I said big day of flying, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you soon Oh Yeah guys living it up in Las Vegas oh. Okay guys, so as you can see we are now at the Las Vegas airport guys, and we're going to be taking uh, Alaskan Airlines guys just to get to San Francisco. So yeah, this is the Las Vegas airport Alright guys, so as you can see we are now currently at the terminal guys, so uh, any moment now, I think we've got about like one and a half hours or something left until the uh, Alaskan Airlines plane comes here guys, so uh, yep, this is pretty exciting guys. Okay guys, so without further ado, I think it is just about time to end off the entire vlog series guys. We are ending off episode 7 guys, because uh, there's not really in it, there's not really anything else I could even record except for all this airport and plane stuff and that'll be boring. So probably about now is the perfect time to end the vlog. So uh, yeah, thank you for all the viewers for tuning in to all 7 episodes of the LA vlog series guys, because yeah, this is a pretty crazy journey guys over these two weeks so uh yeah thank you for tuning in to all seven episodes of the la vlog series and if you'd like to see more episodes like vlog series like this then uh yeah comment down below like the video if you want more series like this just vlog series and uh yeah so we did a lot of crazy things in these two weeks guys we started off with uh hollywood going to hollywood guys we then went to Anaheim for uh, Disneyland, 
And then we went, obviously, to Las Vegas for episode 7, just to end it all off, guys. So, yeah, today it was a good vlog series, guys. But uh, without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next TMS Plus video. Peace out.